bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to an exciting video about how to get a ridiculous win rate with, of all heroes, a clockwork. I'm joined today by the insanely well-skilled, and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit, how well-skilled Immortal Faith is. But say hello everybody to Immortal Faith. Hello Immortal Faith. Hello Good Boy, how are you doing? I am, I am trying to not let my hat fall off my head, which I'm bal balancing on my headset. So, but other than that, I'm great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, it's fallen off. There you go. Strike one. Let's, uh, maybe we should give a prize so who can notice how many times my hat falls off during this interview. So, you've been playing Clockwork. What's your win rate with Clockwork right now, Faith? Uh, my win rate is around 60%. Okay, cool. Now, that's 60% against high-end pros. In fact, isn't that, aren't, aren't you currently playing with, like, the best players in the world? Is that about right? Mm, yeah, that's about right. Uh, those games are all played with uh, the best tier 1s and the best tier 2s players. All of them uh, were around the 7k plus uh, MMR average. Can you, can you drop any notable names that we would have heard of, besides yourself, of course? Mm, I mean, there is uh, Admiral Bulldog, for example. Yeah. Didn't you play with Miracle recently? I did play with Miracle. I played with did all the him? players from Liquid, with all the players from uh, Secret. So, so, so you played with, for example, uh, well, Kuroki. With Kuroki, I'm not sure exactly, but I remember playing with Matumba Man just the other day. Oh, okay, cool. Great. Well, <laughs> there you go, everybody. Some pretty high-end stuff. That must be quite interesting when you load up into a random pub match and be put with one of the best players in the world. So, um, okay, cool. Great, great, great. So that's 60% against those kind of players. So that, that, that means, of course, that you're going to be... Um, you must be in, what, the top 100 clockwork players right now? I'm actually in the top three, I think. The top players. three clockwork players in the world. So there you go, everybody. Yes. Uh, advice from the top third... Uh, one of the, in the top three uh, clockwork players in the world. That's that's insane. Great. Well, that's awesome. So I think your insights here are going to be insanely helpful to my audience. Um, so, so so everyone needs to strap in. Now, just one other thing, because this is actually a slightly promo video for um, Gamer Sensei. Just tell me, um, in terms of, you know, when you've been coaching people, what, what difference has it made to their MMR? What do you mean, the difference? So, for example, if you start off with, say, 1,500 MMR, how much MMR have you seen, on average, your coaches improve by? I think it uh, depends on how much people want to put the work into it. But from 1.5k, I had students who actually got uh, more than 4,000 MMR, actually. Whoa! So, basically, they are above uh, 5k now. Jeez, how long did that take? Uh, it actually took a little bit, around uh, six months. So you're telling me, with coaching, you can go from 1.5k to, to 5k MMR? Mm, yes. That's insane. I think That's easily. That is completely insane. Okay, cool. Well, there you go then. Right, everybody. You heard it here. <laughs> this is probably Faith here. Immortal Faith is probably a good person to book in with. Jeez. I'm, I'm probably going to book, book in with him myself, actually. Uh... Uh, I'm not quite going from that distance, but but that nonetheless is is great. Okay, cool. So that's that there. That's insane. Just just putting that there. So let's talk about clockwork. Um, so I've got some I've got some footage here from one of your matches. And I'd love you just to give us a breakdown of how you itemize, how you play clockwork, what you're thinking, and all that sort of jazz. Is that all right? That's perfect, actually. Okay, great. Okay, this uh, game I actually laned against the Nikes and the Winter Wyvern. Uh, this is actually a pretty easy lane to lane into, but the only issue you actually have is that you actually don't have kill potential. Yeah. Uh, what what Clocks loves to do in their lane is to actually be able to kill a support. So in this uh, lane you actually cannot. But as long as you are playing it correctly, uh, meaning the laning uh, phase, you should be able to still uh, to still get enough from the lane to be able to gang other lanes. Your first big peak with Clockwork is actually at level 3, where you usually get two levels in Battery Assault, and that can actually deal almost 800 damage. Yeah. So basically, if you catch a hero alone somewhere, and you have the same move speed as he does, you can basically kill almost any hero, if he doesn't have any escape mechanism. 
Okay. So how can um, you kill Nikes in this case? You actually cannot kill Nikes. He is one of the few carries that uh, it's very hard to kill uh, for two reasons. One. His mana pool is pretty big, so even if you try to burn his uh, mana with your cogs, we, which is, by the way, one of the best things you can do as a clockwork is burn the mana of the enemy carry, and then when he ha has no mana for anything, yeah. you can actually just try to go on him. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, on Ix, at least this game, I couldn't, because first of all, he had the mango, and then his mana pool is actually really big. Okay. So you can't. Uh, the only opportunity you have, uh, for example, in this game is to kill the Winter Wyvern, but yeah. he has an, an escape mechanism as well. So this game, I actually couldn't really no kill, kill anyone. Yeah. But what I could do is actually maintain the same level as the Nikes, yeah. try to burn casually his mana, yeah. and just uh, make sure I, I'm getting enough uh, to have a good laning stage. Now, aren't you a bit worried about being killed by the Winter Wyvern and the Nikes, for example? Not really. I actually have a TP, as far as you can see. Yeah, if yeah, I yeah. have the TP, I can always TP. They have no way of stopping my TP, unless there is also a Nerf Spirit, right? Yeah. That's the only way they can kill me. If I really need it, I can just TP to the Shrine, or I can just TP base. Yeah. So they actually cannot kill me. Okay, nice. And that's sort of, you activate cogs and you just teleport out, if you're in exactly. trouble. Okay, great. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. So talk to me just a little bit about your... Uh, oh, we've moved on to the mid-game now. So, so talk to me about how... So you're, what you're building, how you're building, and, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, this is actually one of the the unique games, maybe one out of 20 games where you actually go o o Orchid first item. I would say this is a really weird item yeah. for most people. It's not something I actually recommend unless you have a lot of games with Clockwork and you actually uh, are used with the hero a lot. Yeah. Usually you would go Blade Mail into four stuff. It's probably the best item build. This yeah. is what I'm doing every game as well. But yeah. Orchid is actually an insane item against all the enemy heroes I have in this game. Yeah. Also, it's really good if you actually farm it and getting get it really fast. If, for example, the enemy have like a Manta style or an Eul's on their cores, yeah. it, it's actually useless already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this game, I'm building an Orchid. I think I can solo kill people. This is why I'm building it. Yeah, so just, just, just to prevent them from escaping, basically. Exactly, prevent them from escaping. Uh, the Nikes cannot range, uh, rage out of uh, the cogs and just escape. The Winter Wyvern cannot fly away. The Air Spirit cannot rolling boulder away. The Panda cannot actually ulti. And I, I can kill him before he uses his ulti. The Ember Spirit cannot remnant away. So basically, this is an amazing item against all five of the enemy heroes. Yeah. Okay, cool. But that actually leaves you with a few options, uh, maybe not as good. You, you you don't have the blade mail to actually just go in and tank everything. Yeah. So that's a little bit risky, but yeah. it can be a very good item. Okay, great. So normally you do blade mail and four stuff, and that's just literally so you can, what? So you you, um, you cog the enemy, sorry, you, you hookshot the enemy, cogs, blade mail on, and then what's the four stuff for? The first step is actually to catch uh, to catch up to the enemies. Also, what you can do a lot of times, it's actually four stuff away from the cogs and just uh, let the enemy into your cogs. Yeah. He will basically waste three or four seconds to try to destroy the cogs and then try to either chase you yeah. or, uh, or I don't know, just run away. For example, imagine you are uh, ultimating, hookshotting a Sven, and then you are cogs uh, cogging him in. And yeah. then you are just uh, four stuffing away. Like, yeah. He will be useless for around three or four seconds where you actually can focus the other heroes. Yeah. Basically, it's a lot of mobility. The yeah. item is giving you a lot of mobility. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Great. What we could see in the last uh, few minutes of the footage, uh, I was actually using my rocket, like really useful to yeah. give vision to my team. And also, I'm always uh, trying to push the lane with the rockets. Okay. Uh, this is something you can do as a clockwork. Try to always uh, have lanes pushed when yeah. you actually want to do something in the other part of the map. Yeah. Uh, because having lanes pushed, uh, this is one of the things you can do really well with clockwork. Uh, you can uh, get advantage in team fights by having uh, the bigger number because people will need to defend the other lanes just because you are pushing a lane with rockets. Great. Great. Okay. Cool. All right, awesome. And then, in terms of your like rotations, your patterns, how what what are you sort of thinking? You're obviously an initiator, 
Yes. Um, so, so how, how what, what are you thinking on 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 the map, for example? How do okay. you how do you rotate around? So when you are getting level six, right? That's uh, I would say the second biggest peak of the hero. When you are getting level six, you already want to use your hookshot. If it's mid, if it's uh, your safe lane, or even the enemy carry, or even one support, like any kind of kill you are getting. That will make you actually sky skyrocket. Like after you get level six, you can kill one guy. You are already level seven. Uh, 40, 50 seconds later, you already can even smoke yourself, get another kill. You are gonna be level eight, and you can be level eight at minute like seven. So as soon as you're level six, you turn into a roaming ganker, basically. Exactly, and you just noble out of that. Okay, great. Now, what are the we things can... that, that potentially can go wrong with that? And, you know, what, what mistakes would you say lower skill players make? Maybe some people are actually not realizing when when they can actually kill people. Okay. Maybe they are, uh, you know, o over uh, overthinking it, and uh, oh my god, I, I'm gonna kill an anti mage, you know, but he actually cannot do it because anti mage will just blink out of the cogs. Sure. Or he will try to kill, for example, a morphling, and he can just wave around, you know. Yeah. So don't target escape heroes, basically. Yeah, exactly. Try to target people you can actually kill. For example, if if the enemy team has an a shadow in mid, right? Yeah. Like, how can he escape? Like, he has no escape mechanism. So yeah. just try to target him rather than targeting someone else who actually can escape. Yeah. And then in terms of like when to go in, when is it a mistake to go in? Because um, besides this, because an escape hero is just going to get away, so you won't get killed. So that's annoying, but it won't actually kill you. What about times when you will die and you'll kill yourself if you're not careful? Mm, you will die and you will kill yourself. You basically want to go when your team is around, first yeah. of all. Yeah. You always want to go when your team is around because uh, you can do damage with Clockwork, but keep in mind, your damage is limited. You are actually an initiator. You are not a hardcore carry that actually kills everyone. Yeah. So keep in mind, you need your team always. Uh, if you can use mocks with your team, it, it's actually amazing to do that with Clockwork. You can catch people with your hook shot, then your team can rotate in because the cog's duration is actually so long. You are giving your team uh, so much time. Yeah. actually come in and uh, then you are also creating a lot of space just because people actually cannot attack you meanwhile because yeah. of the cogs yeah you are pressing blade mail so they are killing themselves yeah you have four stuff to run away from them yeah no no very nice very nice very nice okay cool so let's talk about your itemization now so you've gone for an ags uh, yes. and it appears you're building into what you're building into with the uh with the i'm ultimate. building into a ship stick actually oh a ship stick okay fine so basically yeah, classic classic late game support items um, mm, classic initiator support items, exactly. Uh, another really good item, because we are playing against uh, all, all these heroes I already mentioned, and uh, they cannot use anything. If I just uh, hookshot into shipstick, into cogs, you know, my, uh, my laundry and my OD can just come around and uh, burst the enemy. Yeah. So shipstick is actually a really good item in this game. Again, it's something you usually don't really see on Clockwork. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. But this game, at least, it's so strong. Usually, if you are a Clockwork and you have Blazemail 4 stuff, and then whatever other item, Aghanims, uh, Shiva, yeah. absolutely anything, you yeah. are already so strong yeah. by just uh, having your skills. Yeah. It's actually insane. Okay, great, great. All right, that's, uh, that's 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 pretty insane. So, uh, any kind of like last tips, as it were, or, or any kind of like um, you know, bear, bearing in mind that, that a lot of people watching this are going to be sort of uh, you know, three k or two k or whatever. What what would be sort of you, would you would you give as your main bit of advice about clockwork? I think with clockwork you can do two things that, uh, for example, are really helpful. Uh, one, play with your team where you actually have really nice communication with your team. Or you can even just play by yourself, but you need to realize, I'm gonna go for a kill that I can actually get. If you are gonna do that, you are either gonna create space for your team, or you are just going to kill uh, the enemies as a team together. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, brilliant.
Wonderful stuff. Okay, cool. Well, I think uh, I think that's that's pretty much uh, the main sort of stuff there. I think what we'll probably do as well is a, a follow up to this video with people's commonly asked questions. So, just people watching the video now, if you could comment below on any uh, further questions or any advice. Um, so, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And remember, Immortal Faith is available on Gamer Sensei. There is a link below. And I am still doing a giveaway for all the new signups, uh, or even existing signups, should I say, uh, and giveaways for people who actually sign up to use the service. So by all means, do click the link below, search for Immortal Faith. Please do click the link below, otherwise I don't actually get anything for it. I'm promoting them for free if you don't click the link. So please do click the link and then search for Immortal Faith, who will be more than happy to help you leave 1K and bring you up to 5K in six months. My goodness, that's crazy. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great stuff. See you soon. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, goodbye to you, Immortal Faith. Goodbye. Au revoir, everyone.